What's going on everyone? Welcome to Movie Emporium's movie review of Italian Studies. This film is directed by Adam Leon. Now before we begin, if you like this channel, awesome! Hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome! Hit that like button as well as commenting below on any video you watch, including this one. And so Italian Studies is a film that stars Vanessa Kirby as Alina. She is an individual that is a popular author. She wrote the story or the short story books called Italian Studies. She loses her mind, becomes an amnesiac in this movie after walking her dog, and then she goes to a hardware store. She ends up wandering the city, leaving her dog behind, and she somehow finds her way with this group of kids in the city, just talking to them. And then she interviews them and then she wanders through the city and things happen. And it's a story, I guess, about what's real, what's not, how we get lost in our own devices and our thoughts and stuff like that. And because she's an author, obviously something doesn't make sense about it and so on and so forth. But that's kind of the story. It's a very meandering, very kind of, you know, by its own book, does whatever it feels like, goes wherever it wants. It doesn't have a purpose, I guess you could say. And so with that said, this movie premiered at the Tribeca Film Festival, and I was looking forward to it. You know, it's a movie that, you know, seems like it could be kind of cool and so on and so forth. I asked for a review copy. They sent me a review copy. I found out this movie is only 78 minutes long, which is not necessarily a problem because movies, especially during the last holiday season, were quite long. So a much shorter film, maybe a little experimental, could be cool, could be interesting. It's, you know, I don't know the director very well, so I don't know his other films. And, uh, my God, uh, this is one of those types of movies where you go in expecting something, you expect interesting commentary on something you expect uh an intriguing kind of thought-provoking film and what you get is not only less of the sum of its whole parts but you're getting a film that even though it's well-intentioned by the director and the actresses and actors in the movie it doesn't feel like it serves any purpose whatsoever as a film. It really doesn't. It feels like a case study for individuals that she is interviewing. There's points in this where it's like almost like a documentary, which is, you know, if you're doing a documentary, do a documentary. But it really feels like there's like three films in one in this. And none of them are cohesive or coherent or make any sense. Um, I'll be fairly honest. This is going to be probably my top 10 worst films of the year. Because it's just so mind-baffling, mind-boggling, whatever you want to call it, of a movie. This isn't even a movie. This is people meandering through a city, talking to one another. And yes, you can do that. I mean, some of the best meandering movies are stuff like Lost in Translation, where they just there's a story, a wraparound story, a, an idea story, two characters in a city that they're lost in, and they're, you know, no idea, but there's a purpose, there's a reason. There's no purpose or reason in this. There's a point where, you know, like I said, Vanessa Kirby's an amnesiac, and why is she an amnesiac? She doesn't know who she is. What is the purpose to that in situation? What is Adam Leon trying to tell us? And then she leaves her dog behind, and then she's, like, forgetting everything, and it's just... At some point, you got to explain or at least give us some crumbs to what you're doing. And that movie, this movie does none of that. It gives us no explanation. And the crazy thing is, I can usually kind of get a concept or can see of what's going on. But with this movie, I actually had to look up the plot to even understand what kind of conceptual idea that what they were going for. You know, it's a movie about what's real and what's not. And what does she believe and what does she not believe? Are these characters real? Are they part of a story? None of that is explained in this movie. None of that makes sense in this movie. And it just feels like there was a script. There was a, uh, they filmed the script and then cut so much out that it almost feels like there's a four hour director's cut somewhere in this movie. And I, I, I don't know. I just, I, I don't know what happened here, but this movie is absolutely atrocious. One of the worst movies I've seen this year. One of the worst, one of those movies where I'm just going to, it's constantly going to just bug me with why I even bother watching this. And it's a shame because like I said, Vanessa Kirby's in it, Maya Hawk's in it. I think this director has a lot of potential with his, you know, steady cam shooting and his kind of getting real life people into the movie. The, what happened here is a travesty. It really is. It's bonkers that this movie even exists. And I can't believe this movie. I think the movie premiered at Tribeca just because of Vanessa Kirby. But sometimes you got to like reconsider what you're doing and what you're trying to say and what your what your editing process is. Because when you're making a movie like this and you completely baffle the audience, 
and you can read all the Rotten Tomato reviews, the reviews that are on that site, and they all say the same thing. It's like, what is the logic and point of this movie? There was one positive said that if you like John Luke, uh, John Luke Godard films, you might enjoy this film. But I don't want to like another director to like this film. I want, if they're inspired by that, that's fine. But you need to have a conceptual idea of what you're presenting and there's none of that here there's nothing of value in this film it goes nowhere it leads to no purpose and it is just a terribly terribly directed written and to an extent starry movie it really is it has no reason or rhyme to even exist so i really did not like this film don't waste your money on it i guess if it shows up on streaming maybe watch it but you're not going to get anything about value out of this film you're going to find something much much better i'm sure down the road that may be uh straight to vod unlike this film so i don't know what else to say it's a terrible film it really is and it really it really made me mad i was telling a friend i'm like there's still 30 minutes in this movie. I feel like I've been watching for four hours and this is only a 78 minute movie and it's just that type of movie. So it's unfortunate. I really don't like, you know, you know, hating on directors because they are much more talented in doing something I wish I could do. But I have to be honest, it's just a horrible movie. So that's where I sit with Italian studies. I never expected to hate it as much as I did. And uh, it was baffling to watch. So there you go. Anyways, that'll do it. That'll be my uh, unfortunate take of Italian studies. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, comments below if you decide to watch this movie. Maybe you disagree. If you have any ideas and concepts that I'm missing on this, let me know. I'll definitely you know check them out and you know, respond and all that good stuff. Otherwise, if you like what you see on this channel, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell. Top files coming next. If you like any of these videos, awesome. Hit that like button and uh, we'll hopefully see you guys on a better review. Peace out.